In Grand Rapids, art is everywhere. Art is in our crosswalks. Um, it's in uh, hanging on the walls in our corporate spaces. So public art is kind of the expression of it or the visual part of finding it is um, an incubator for other people to find artists to work in the business. Public art, it's a sense of identity and especially in a community like Heartside uh, neighborhood where we have people who have lived here for decades and maybe not have had a sense of neighborhood pride. When we have a new public art piece, it's a really awesome moment of neighborhood pride that comes from that, that the fact that we host something so beautiful and there's something we can share with the public. Public art doesn't happen on its own. Uh, you look all over the city and the public art that exists today exists because somebody stepped up with a vision. Someone worked really hard to bring people together, to raise the funds, to organize all of the details to make it happen. I call people quiet giants. There's a lot of quiet giants in this community work behind the scenes to make beautiful things happen in our city. The UICA has been a wonderful partner uh, with the Heartside Downtown Neighborhood Association for several years. They recognize their place in this community, partner with um, different organizations as well as neighbors and in the community. I think that this project is really important to the Grand Rapids community because it shows collaboration between the UICA, DGRI, the sister cities, and how three groups came together to make something really spectacular happen for our city. Neighborhood voice is always essential in every step of any type of public art process. We knew from the beginning we would be excited about it, but it's still important to run any type of changes or major developments by resident leaders and also the neighbors of that community that you're installing in. I think the piece is a reminder that we're all in one place, that no one voice um, can march forward alone, that it takes everyone coming together in one space uh, to make a difference. And I think that piece is a reflection of all those voices. I'm super excited about this particular piece because I don't think we have any other like fantasy uh, type of mural like this. It's her style is so unique and you know, especially to the scale which this is. This is a really large mural and it's being placed in an area that we're trying to activate. Um, there's a lot of a lot of moving parts over in that space and this is just yet another reason why it's great to be over in the entertainment district of downtown. Well, I've been watching this piece start from the very beginning. That that building itself is a strange little building. It's nice to see that there's great art on it. And I've been watching her process, and I've never really seen a, um, a graphic artist do a mural with her type of, I mean, first it started with letters, and now I'm watching her do, like, s movements with her spray paint. I love the colors she uses. I think that this project is going to be one that people are walking down the street and they stop and they look at it and they want to know more about it. This is a, a special mural because it has been created by a world-renowned artist who comes from one of our sister cities. So the city of Grand Rapids, we have five sister cities, uh, obviously one in Poland, and having someone from our sister city creates a stronger connection, I believe. And I think it also honors uh, the culture that we have right here in Grand Rapids. We have a rich community from Poland. Uh, they, every year, they have the Polish festival, we have the parade on the west side, we have our Polish halls. Uh, and so to just be able to elevate um, the, the value of being a city where we uh, have diversity and we have traditions and people from other countries, I think is really special. I started my journey with uh, street art around six, I think six years ago. First time I uh, took the can to my hand like nine years ago, but I just start with like small, really small walls. So every year since uh, six years, I'm producing six, like around five, four walls around the world. 
So my main inspiration was the shape of the wall. I wanted to make something more organic, just uh, more graphic. So I was focused uh, to put some organic uh, waves, like organic lines uh, on the background. And then I decided to uh, paint this uh, girl, but it's uh, more introducing like the human as themselves. So for me, the waves, uh, it's like the metaphor of running time. And the girl, she's the main source of the light. Uh, so she's like the symbol of the life which we all have inside. Working outside is very challenging and it gives me a lot of positive vibes even from the people surrounding me just passing by um, and if you see your work in that big scale it gives you more confident and which still I think I need. I'm so happy and glad I'm finished. I really like the result. I'm hopefully you enjoy it as me.